Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here and I'm with Daniel Jury, which you've seen in many different videos of mine. And yeah, we are basically gonna talk a bit about one meal a day in comparison to eating a fruit-based diet, which some people call the 8 10 10 diet or a high-carb raw vegan diet or even a raw vegan diet. But yeah, I'm first gonna let Daniel share his experience first and then yeah, I'll share some of my insights and some of my experience with this as well because we both have a lot of experience with one meal a day and also the fruit-based diet. So for me, um, I had been eating one meal a day for about nine months. And so, you know, I had well worked myself into a good rhythm, um, a, a really nice homeostasis. I was building a lot of muscle. I felt very clean. Um, my, my focus was amazing. Um, I had detoxed very heavily. Yeah, nice. Um, I was, yeah, I was really clean and I, and I was really happy with where I was at. Um, then I started finding a lot of people talking about fruitarianism and you know, doing like longer water fasts and stuff I had never really seen before. And I was intrigued yeah. and intrigued enough to give it a go. And for probably a good four months, three or four months, um, I, you know, I was trying some of this stuff and, and stopped eating one meal a day for the most part. And really looking back now, I, it was unnecessary. I didn't clean my body out um, to any you know deeper level than I already had. I lost a lot of my strength. Um, Did you lose a lot of muscle as well? Yeah, my muscle pretty much. I, I mean, I probably lost. I went from about 160 pounds to 120 at my lightest. So I lost a good 40 pounds and not you know yeah. no fat really because I was eating one meal a day. Um, and training multiple times a day, so I didn't have any fat. So I lost a good 40 pounds of muscle. Wow. But I'm still gaining back now. Woo! Yeah. That dog just about <laughs> Crazy dogs running around, almost <laughs> hitting over the tripod. And yes, yeah, so you ended up being a typical, weak, frail, raw vegan, yeah, so and to speak, as the majority of them out there look like that. And I used to be one as well. And right. it's really, really stick yeah. thin with hardly any muscle. I had muscle atrophy. And yeah, I just didn't look healthy at yeah. all. Yeah, I felt, um, I felt light. Um, and relatively clear, mostly light though. You just feel light. Yeah, but no. I didn't have the strength anymore, man. And I didn't have a, I, I wasn't so grounded anymore. And I couldn't, I couldn't talk to people as easy because I'm like so up here. You're so, you're so up in your yeah, head when you reach that point. <laughs> and it's like, you know, come back down to earth and like actually connect with somebody on, on a physical level, you know flesh again don't yeah so would you say that you probably noticed some signs of testosterone levels declining as well? most likely yeah. yeah i mean if if not i wouldn't i don't think i could have lost as much muscle um i don't think i would have i would have i would have been more grounded had i had more testosterone yeah. so yeah and when you switched from one meal a day to fruit based was you eating one meal a day with that or was you eating multiple meals what were you doing exactly or did it switch up it switched around time? i experimented with both but neither really worked um, because I was finding if I was eating multiple fruit meals a day even just like two in like a, a three hour window I still um, was losing a lot of muscle and losing a lot of weight and so I'm like okay maybe if I fast more I'll actually lose less weight because of the human growth hormone yeah. and things like that and even eating 3,000 calories worth of fruit um, whether it was watermelon whether it was bananas um, whether I threw in some more fatty fruits, I still could not, I, I could not gain muscle and, and yeah. I was training hard and it just wasn't working. Yeah, and um, I, I can relate to that as well. I was eating three to 5,000 calories a day and I was weighing around 60 kilos and I found since switching to the 16-8 method, which was eating two meals a day and then switching to one meal a day, I actually gained around 10 kilos of muscle yeah. in comparison to the raw food diet. So right. yeah, from my experience as well, switching to one meal a day and getting a huge boost in testosterone and human growth hormone and uh -huh. insulin massively dropping and insulin sensitivity improving, right. yeah, I just noticed significant changes within my body. Right, and the, and the level of satisfaction of the meals is, oh. is more um, sustainable for me. I just... I, I love fruit. I, I still love to eat fruit. I eat it almost every day. 
but just when I eat fruit alone and I finish that meal, it's like it's like I was left at the at the edge of a cliff and I'm like looking down like okay like now what or I'm at the edge of my seat like you know like where are we going from here so I just didn't find it sustainable it wasn't it wasn't satisfying it wasn't satiating it yeah didn't, you yeah. know it didn't fulfill me I just felt kind of like all right now what you know yeah unlike with our cooked food meals of one one meal a day we just seem to be satiated for a very, very long period of time. That's yeah. how we're able to fast so long. But yeah, I found with the raw food diet as well, I could eat loads of calories and I wouldn't be as satiated unless I was eating durian, which is a really high calorie dense, high fatty yeah. fruit that was different. But it's not even sustainable eating loads of that on a regular basis. No, so, it makes me sick if I eat too much. Yeah, and, and for me personally, when I was doing a raw food diet, especially when I moved to Thailand, I found that I was just constantly eating all the time. Yeah. I could never reach that full satiation yeah, right. and I was always thinking about food yeah. all the time it started sending me crazy I was like I want to think about other things except for food and not right. obsess around food because I found that I got that purist raw vegan, vegan extremist mentality as well right yeah where I was like I must only eat these things and these things and yeah. potatoes are and rice are demon foods right. and I just had yeah. this really bad dog dogma and stigma around food yeah like, like cooked food is poison is a common thing you you hear people say yeah. and i was on board with it man i thought i thought that made because yeah. it, it makes sense like on paper if, if i mean because you can separate food you know uncooked and that's prepared by god and and you know human we're using fire and pots and these evil witchcraft things yeah. But it's alchemy is, is all it is. It's ra it's actually, when you take a potato out of the ground and cook it in a pot, you're taking that potato and bringing it to something that's a higher form. It's 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 a form of alchemy. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what they say. They say when you're cooking, you're denaturing all of the food and stuff. Yes, if you're cooking it for too long and overheating it, yes, you do lose a lot of the nutritional yeah. value. But there's ways that you can cook it and stuff that it doesn't so much. So, right. yeah, it's just a lot of it's based on theory. And there's no real scientific evidence to back up the claims of a lot of these natural hygienists. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of time, they just tell you, if this ain't going on with you, it ain't working, you just need to fast more. And that's what you seem to keep doing. Like, I started doing a lot of extended yeah. fasting. Yeah, and I just got, so my neck was like this big around, dude. Like, I got really skinny and my family was like, yeah, like, you're, you're like skin and bones now. What happened? You know, you're all muscular and then... They see me a few weeks later and I'm like, nothing, so. Yeah, yeah. my friends used to say, you look like you're going to blow away. Yeah. And like, for, at least for my experience as well, I actually run into a lot of nutritional deficiencies as well, because yeah, the way fruit is, well, fruit is grown and a lot of these raw foods that you eat are a raw fruit-based diet, the soil is massively depleted that they're grown in and they're still massively covered in pesticides as well. And yeah, if the nutrients aren't in the soil, it's not in the food, it's not in you. So for me, it really worked for me to a certain extent. And then long term is where I've started to get a lot of negative effects. Yeah. And I see that again with time and time again with so many raw vegans. So. And, and that's a good point. You know, for, a, for short term, it does work. It's, there's a place for it. When you, when you eat just the raw foods and the fruits, yeah, absolutely. It's totally cleansing. It will cleanse you. Um, but at a certain point you need to rebuild you can't yeah. you can't be in that catabolic breakdown phase forever I mean you you just can't you'll die you 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 won't be on earth anymore yeah you'll, you just break wither. down completely yeah, you'll wither away <laughs> and and so that's why the the one meal a day thing is like so great because 23 hours of the day you're in that um, state where you're breaking down and then you and then you refeed at the end of the day every single day so it's like a perfect homeostasis yeah. for me it, it works yeah, amazing for me, i can relate as well right it's yeah. just allowing your body to detoxify every single day right and if and if you want to go if you want to go deep train hard as hell just freaking wake up in the morning early and go for a long run or go for a really long walk and that will really facilitate the detoxification process yeah, sit in a, I mean, we just sat in a sauna for like almost two hours. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, in an infrared sauna. Yeah, and I'm feeling very good. I'm, yeah, I feel like I'm. I've really got a lot of processes going yeah. on. A lot of stuff yeah. coming out. A lot of flushing going on. Yeah, so. feeling really, really clean. Doing some deep cellular detoxification, which is amazing. And the real thing with one meal a day, 
When you're in a fasted state, it is massively increasing, I mentioned this earlier, testosterone, human growth hormone production, it's inducing autophagy, which is self-cannibalism within the body that's eating up undigestible proteins and cells that aren't functioning so well and actually creating new ones, which is really good. It's improving insulin sensitivity, it's lowering insulin. It's doing a whole host of benefits, such as giving you amazing weight loss benefits. So you're getting them every single day, but what a lot of people do in the raw food movement, as we did, was eat so much food throughout the whole day, so you're not getting all those benefits. Your insulin's going up and down, which makes right. testosterone and human growth hormone production massively be lowered, should I say. And yeah, and then they just do extended water fast here and there. So yeah. then they are getting some of the benefits. So why not just do it every single day? So you're getting the benefits. It just makes so much more sense. And if you work yeah. out how many hours we are fasting over a year compared to a raw vegan that's doing extended water fasting here and there. We are fasting so much more with one meal a day. Yeah. And yeah, it just gives me the best physique possible. As you can see, like I have really, really low body fat percentage. I have the body of a calisthenics or gym that um, athlete. And what I do is I actually put a video, well, not a video, a photo here showing how I used to look before. And as you can see in this photo, I look absolutely stick. Thin. and I was the typical weak looking vegan and most yeah. people think that vegans are weak so I was giving right. veganism a bad name but now I'm giving it a good name right and it just attracts so many more people to the vegan lifestyle that see me in person and ask questions so yeah, yeah. so yeah my main thing I guess is um, when I was not eating one meal a day and still wanting to detoxify with fruits and water fasting I was in this constant up and down yeah, yeah. you know yo-yo kind of back and forth where I would eat a bunch of crap like all day and and then go in like these long water fast fruit fast juice fast and then swing back and eat a bunch of crap and you know it was just super unsustainable but with the one meal a day I can really just center myself and I can make it I can make it 23 hours on a water fast it's not too hard no. and eat my one meal my nice cooked food or I'll have my fruit before I have my nice rice and beans with my veggies super satisfying and yeah and yeah and just be super grounded and and um yeah such a broad spectrum of foods we're getting so there's like yeah. a wider nutritional profile and we still love fruit we love to break right. the majority of our fast with fruit or coconut water so we're not against fruit at all yeah. it's an amazing human food it's really high in fiber really high in water content that gives you a whole host of benefits as well so yeah we do absolutely love the fruit and what i found as well i don't know if you found this I found with the fruit based diet of eating all the time, I didn't appreciate and enjoy the food as much. Yeah. But with one meal a day, when I come to it, like oh. I'm like, wow, like us the last couple of days, we've been thinking during our fasting state, we can't wait to break our fast later on yeah. and have the coconut water that we do. And when we drink it, it's just like, wow. Yeah, we're always we're always making vocal sounds like, oh man, yeah. like yeah, like <laughs> yeah, it tastes like ice cream. Coconut water tastes like ice cream at the yeah. end of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the the enjoy the enjoyment factor at least for me and seems to you as well is yeah. just so much more yeah and it's the same with anything you have something too often you're just gonna get bored of it you don't you don't know what you got until you don't have it anymore kind of deal and when you go 23 hours without food and you come back to it, it's like oh yeah yeah <laughs> um, it's just so much more exciting when you eat the food as well it's so much more playful and yeah I found as well for me it's just given me more freedom with eating. Yeah. Before I was like, oh, I'd be concerned about traveling to places because maybe I wouldn't have enough fruit. I couldn't find uh, fruit there. And then I, all, well, most of the time, couldn't go to restaurants because I wouldn't be able to eat anything there. Yeah. So for the social factor, it was not as good as well. And traveling, it wasn't. So for me, one meal a day just allows me to have so much more free time away from thinking about food so I can focus on other things that are more important within right. my life and it increases my productivity and my earnings and yeah it gives me a whole host of other benefits within my life and that's the thing people get so obsessed with the foods Ugh. it's like think about it you're eating food to give yourself energy and to um, um, to give yourself nutrients so that you can do things like life you're not here to eat you know it's part yeah. of it's it's part of life but ultimately we want to eat foods that are going to give us energy so that we can um make the world a better place no or you know yeah. do something good be valuable to somebody else but it's like um i find a lot of people get very caught on the foods and they want to eat their way to god or something yeah and you, your enlightenment <laughs> you can't do it you can't eat your way to god no um 
Gabriel yeah. Cousins says that even. Yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, just it's nice. Like you said, more freedom and more just more satisfying overall and you can make better strength gains you can exercise more you're still very clean um, in terms of detoxification so i don't see any reason um it yeah doesn't make any sense to me at all yeah and yeah what i found as well because i had all the stigma and dog muff and all the stuff i learned from natural honey hygienists when i go and eat certain things even like plain potato I would beat myself up uh -huh. mentally. It was self-torture and I was being the most worst parent to myself. And that yeah. was actually really damaging to my psyche and my physical health. Right. It's, I don't know if you experience that, or oh, but yeah. I know a lot of people do that try going from a raw food diet back to cooked food. Yeah, man, like, you, man, you trip on it so hard. And while you're eating it, you're like, oh, this is gonna be, you know, I'm gonna feel like this tomorrow and this is gonna be so bad later. And so of course it happens. I mean, the placebo effect is a very, a very significant thing that actually does it's re definitely real yeah so yeah to yeah. let go of all that bs and just enjoy a nice freaking potato oh and just feel so much more relaxed yeah. around the food and free it's yeah. just like it's a sense of relief once you, i started let go of that stigma and dogma i was just like man this is just so much suitable for me to not be scared of certain foods right. i feel like i earn my food at the end of the day yeah. i work you know i, I work hard all day, I train, and then at the end of the day, I, like, I've earned this plate of food, yeah. so I'm gonna enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I found as well, once I started getting rid of that mentality, that purist extremist raw vegan mentality, as I call it, when I started to eat cooked food, because I'd feel more positive around it and grateful and appreciative and not beat myself up, that I found that I stopped getting the negative effects from it, or yeah. I would get hardly any negative effects. Right, right. So yeah, the power of the placebo effect, to show through science and research, is for real. Like, your mind can create anything. Definitely. And something that I made an observation, this is not me hating on raw vegans, I have a lot of raw vegan friends and I do love them, uh, but something that I noticed, when I'd go to meet up with raw vegans, all they're pretty much talking about is food all of the time because yeah. they're all not satiated and it's just <laughs> obsessive. And yeah. I got to a point where I'd be around these people and then I stopped hanging around with these circles of people because I was like, I just want to focus on other things in life, like being productive with YouTube and working on my inner self and working on my communication skills and working on my fitness and the connections that I have and all these other things that I'm really passionate about and that help me go in the direction of pursuing my purpose and passion. Like, yeah. I 100% agree. That's a, that's a good observation. Yeah. The food, the food obsession. God. Eating your way to God. Yeah, and most people are obsessed with, with food, no matter what they're eating. This is why a lot of people are like, no, I wouldn't do intermittent fasting yeah. because I'm so addicted to my food. And a lot of people use their food as comfort food, and you can do that with raw food yeah. as well. Yeah. So it's like trying to fill a void that is empty within yourself sometimes in a lot of situations with a lot of right. people. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with food. There's nothing wrong with things. But ultimately, we all individually are everything. We, we are already all of it. And so you don't really need anything external. But there's nothing wrong with enjoying anything external at the same time. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And what I say is as well, yeah, I did raw veganism for about two years. Like I said, I ran into nutritional deficiencies and I started feeling really bad. Then I started eating some cooked plain food and noticed some major benefits, started supplementing nutrients. I started noticing yeah. that my health just started to go through the roof and my neurotransmitter production started to go up, my testosterone levels. I remember I made a video on my main channel, Sunfruit Dan, and people were like, you're just addicted to cooked food and you're eating it for this reason or that reason and you need to just go and do a long water fast. And I was like, man, I know my body best, you don't know my body best. And for me to actually go in a direction of getting off of a raw food diet, making some changes, and resolving the issues, that's a sign that it's truly working for me. Right. So yeah, I don't, I didn't need people telling me that it's not working for me, like switching to what I did when it was actually working and I've seen the positive results in me. And I can tell you now, when people have met me that haven't seen me a lot for a long time, since, yeah, since they saw me as a raw vegan and where I am now, they're like, wow, you seem so much more alive and vital and healthy. And yes, I feel the best that I've ever felt with eating one meal a day compared to raw veganism. Definitely. So yeah, I just find that it just feels a lot more sustainable for me long term in comparison to a raw food diet. And it's just a lot easier to do. Yep. Yeah. And easy to stay clean for a longer period. I mean, like I said, I I was doing it for nine months. I was eating one meal a day, and I was so clean, man. I didn't I didn't even know it because I wasn't familiar with the whole detoxification protocols. But I was already there, 
and I felt like like oh okay these people are kind of saying that I need to go deeper you know there's like this God to be realized when you only eat raw foods and and I so I gave it a go and I just freaking went backwards yes. I, if I would have continued I would have been you know light years ahead of, yeah. of where I would have been um, I was gonna say something else and I forgot <laughs> well because he forgot um, what I was gonna say was the benefits that I am not getting on one meal a day compared to the raw food diet so yeah I don't feel as light, but I still feel very, very light. I don't feel heavy at all. Yeah. So that's not really something that is a huge um, thing for me that I need to be concerned about at all. And another benefit was, I noticed that I had no smell in my breath and my body odor didn't smell as much. But apart from that, there's no other benefits that I'm not noticing from eating one meal a day in comparison to a raw food diet. So that's not enough for me to go back to a raw food yeah. diet whatsoever. I wanted, I remembered what I was gonna say. If you really wanna clean your body out, and my experience from doing water fasting, from doing dry fasting, from doing fruitarianism, raw veganism, I mean, I've done it all, folks. Urine fasting is the quickest way to give your body a, a full reset back to factory settings if, if you will yeah it's, it's it's the best way to to cleanse and detoxify and clear your mind and clear out your colon and the whole deal i mean it does it all yeah it does it, exactly what you what you need yeah and it is your own perfect medicine it's designed by your body for you and it's i've done free. it for years and years and years and years i learned about this from andrew norton weber and some friends of mine and I know this is a very taboo subject. A lot of people freak out about this for understandable reasons. Ooh, if, you want, yeah. if you want to learn about this, <laughs> I'm going to put some links down below for some books that will educate you correctly on this subject. Educate yourself on it. Try it out and see if it works. Don't just boohoo it before you've tried it. Try yeah. something for 30 days or so. See if it gives you any benefits. If it doesn't, then stop it. That's what I do with anything. So I keep my mind completely open right. and i suggest that to anyone have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing this is the high state of like consciousness and awareness that you can reach within yourself and yeah a lot of people just don't do it because they're freaked out by it but they're missing out something that's amazing that contains so many hormones it contains stem cells which who doesn't want to be having stem cells and it also contains vitamins, amino acids, minerals, enzymes. It's like so many different nutrients as shown Metabolism. through analysis. That you, is, can, yeah. you can check out my channel too if you're curious about yeah. it. I just recently posted a um, video where I was like 86 hours into a urine fast. I wasn't even drinking water. Um, well, I think I had a few gulps of, of rainwater um, in that video. But other than that, the only thing I consumed in 86 hours was my urine. Watch that video yeah. and look into my eyes and look at look at me and tell me yeah. that you know that's not a good thing. Yeah, the proof is in the right. pudding I with was... that one. And and drinking it all the way around like he was is known as looping in the urine therapy movement. And yeah, I did urine looping for around two years straight, so I pretty much consumed all of mine for two years. It was the first thing I started on my health journey, and it just cleansed my body so much and helped me reach a high level of health very very quickly. So yeah, I am a huge advocate of this and yeah it's completely free just like fasting and you have access to it at all times and it's free yeah <laughs> and what i would do i'm going to put links down below mm -hmm. to daniel's facebook instagram and youtube in case you want to get contact with him and see the content that he is pumping out especially on instagram and youtube he's going to be posting a lot more youtube videos on a regular basis and yeah, is there anything else you'd like to add before we finish this up? Um, no, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I hope you discover yourself today. Yeah. And um, yeah. yeah, peace and love. Yeah, and do many things. And I hope you do so many things to improve yourself, to become the greatest version of yourself and push you yourself to your greatness. Because we all have unlimited potential and possibilities, but most people do not go towards their dream and the sky is the limit so no dream is too big so make sure whatever you want don't let anyone else tell you that you can't do it and don't let their opinion of you become your reality just keep pushing forward keep moving forward learn from people that have succeeded in whatever you want to succeed with and achieve and yeah because if i can achieve so many things you can do it too just push through your mind's limitations focus upon what you want rather than don't want 
and just make it happen. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions for either of us, leave them down below as always. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think may want to learn about our own experience of one meal a day in comparison to a fruit-based diet and extended water fasting as well, which we talked about a little bit, and water fasting. We will make a video in the very near future where we are comparing daily intermittent fasting to extended water fasting as well. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because that will be coming very, very soon. And make sure that if you want to receive a lot more videos, you click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more one meal a day informational videos, intermittent fasting videos, calisthenics workout videos, calisthenics progression videos, and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the fitness levels, the energy levels, and the body that you desire as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button, you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.